today's video i want to show you how to connect ip camera to your dvr this is an hybrid dvr which means you can use it to connect your analog camera and you can also use it to connect ip cameras or even have both on one system so in this video i want to show you how to connect your ip cameras to this system and on this system i have a camera connected already an analog camera this is the camera and it's an analog camera so let me show you let me show you the bnc this is the bnc connector i also have an ip camera here with me that we are going to use to practicalize so all we need to do first and foremost is to change our channel type so you go to menu you go to camera then from camera you want to go to channel type channel type then from channel type you see we have the ip at right hand side the right end then we have other types of camera but what we want to do here now is to change the channel type to IP. Now on this system, we can change all the channel to IP channels if we like, or we just change certain numbers or certain channel to support IP. Do you understand? So for example, let me put off some, let me put off number eight and put it to IP. I can also change number seven to IP if I like, change number six to IP, and change probably number five to IP. That's if I want, and it will work. It means I'll have four IP cameras and four analog camera. But in this case, let's just leave it at one. Let me go back and let's. You go to menu. You go to camera. You see camera you go to channel type now you select the one the channel you want to be ip if you select it you will now click apply when you click on apply it asks you do you want to reset you say okay to so restart your system you say okay so restarting the system this is just for the system to save the settings and um, make that ch changes effective so the system is going to boot up. So while the system is booting up, please, I'd like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, share my videos, and let's grow together. So the system is booting up right now. And let's just wait a little bit for the system to boot up. yes it's initializing and the system will come up now the system is up so this is my camera this is the camera i want to connect to the system and remember i changed channel 8 to ip do you can you remember i changed channel 8 to ip so before we go further let's just break down how the connection is going to be i have my modem so and i have my poe switch if you don't have a poe switch you can use your 12 volt power adapter to power your camera so this is my modem with the white patch cord or network cable it goes into my poe switch while the brown or hash like color network cable goes from my PoE switch to my DVR so I want to connect another cable now from my PoE switch to the camera so I've, I'm connecting it to the PoE switch so now you can see channel 8 now have a plus sign if you hover to other cameras 
there are no plus sign but when we over to channel 8 you see a plus sign now let's remove the analog camera we have on our channel 8 you know channel 8 has been changed to ip camera so the analog camera no longer displays so let's change it to one of those bnc's so that's channel 6 you see it is now showing so one way to add the ip camera now is to click on the plus sign um okay let me open my device so when you click on the plus sign it shows you this camera list where the cameras that are connected to your network you can search them you can click on search and every camera connected to your network will be displayed here so you can also do it in in another way where you go back to main menu to camera then camera list camera list now from this camera list you can see um they are is divided into two the cameras that are connected to your system which are yet to be initialized will show at the top top area then the other cameras will show when you you've added them they'll show at this bottom area so you can see a search search device when you click on search device the devices that are connected to your network i mean ip cameras connected to your network will display there and those ones which are have been added or have been initialized we should display down here so you can see it now i have a camera initialized already with an ip address you see so that's the camera i just connected to my dvr so let me delete it let me remove it from here so i want to delete it um delete so i want to search again so look at it, it as shown here now this camera has already been initialized before if it were to be a new camera it will not be initialized so you need to click initialize when you initialize it it will bring a pop-up where it just asks you that um username and password for this camera will be the same as the dvr username and you say yes then you finish initialization you click on add then you see the DVR has the camera shown on channel 8 so that's the ip camera so thank you for watching and please subscribe share and like